Verbal reasoning is the first and arguably the most challenging section in the UK exam mainly due to the intense time pressure. However, with the right strategy and effective preparation, you can easily make verbal reasoning your strongest section in your UCAT. A quick overview of verbal reasoning. There are 11 non-fictional extracts and four questions per extract, giving a total of 44 questions, which you have to complete in 21 minutes which, as it sounds, is very, very time pressured. The text can be on a wide variety of topics, both medical and non-medical, and they also do vary in length greatly. There are several different question types that could come up, which I'll go into in more detail later on in the video. The first thing I'm gonna be talking about is, well, how do you approach questions in the verbal reasoning section of the UCAT exam? This is what I was doing in my preparation and ended up doing in my UCAT exam as well. And once you kind of learn this method or any other methods that work for you, it's really important to kind of just stick with it and keep practicing to get as efficient as possible. So the first thing I would do is skim the text, get a general idea of what the extract is about and kind of what is being talked about in every single paragraph. Skimming is a skill in itself and can be quite tricky, but it's something that you'll definitely get better through practicing. Now, once I've skimmed through the text and got kind of a general idea of what the passage is about, I would read the question. It's important to kind of understand what the question is asking. So using what you know from skimming the text, you can either just straight away answer the question, or you can go back and find the paragraph that the answer may be found within. Now it's important to perhaps recognize key words within the question that also may be repeated within the text. Now using these keywords, to kind of go from the question to the text will help you find the answer a lot easier. Now one thing to be mindful for when answering a question in verbal reasoning is negatives. For example, if a question asks which statement does not agree with the author's perspective. Now it can be very easy to kind of miss that word not and you'll get the answer completely wrong. So be mindful of negatives or contradictory words. Now if you're unsure of what to put for your answer, it can be useful just to do process of elimination. So reading the other options because it's all multiple choice and eliminating every single answer that you know is not correct and perhaps leaving it down to two answers and then it's just a 50-50. Now, when it comes to the process of elimination, I would identify keywords in the answer options and try and find them in the text. Another handy tip is to eliminate answers that are perhaps very extreme or very vague as they're unlikely uh, to be the answer most of the time. And of course you can cross out answer choices that just repeat the same information because only one answer is gonna be correct out of all the options. And if two answers show the same thing, then you know they're both wrong. So using a process of elimination will really help you know narrow your answer choices down to perhaps one or two and you can answer the question and flag it and move on if you're still stuck. The next thing I'll talk about, which is incredibly important in verbal reasoning is time management. So as I mentioned earlier, there are 44 questions on 11 different passages. So four questions per passage, which means you have just under 30 seconds to answer each question, or you can bunch them into passages. So you have two minutes per passage, which is not a lot of time at all. So it makes sense on the first question of each passage, you'll spend a bit longer because you're, you know, just skimming through the text and getting to know it. And then for the other three questions after that first one on that same passage, you should be, you know, a lot quicker. So my top strategies for kind of sticking to the time and, and managing your time effectively are as follows. Don't spend too long on a single question. Every single question on verbal reasoning is worth the same number of marks. And they're not all the same difficulty. So a question may be much harder than another, but they're worth the same number of marks. So don't spend too long on, you know, such a difficult question. If you're finding it tricky and spending too much time, eliminate any options that may not be correct and give it a guess, flag it and move on. Another thing is don't change your answers if you're, if you're kind of unsure. Stick with your gut unless you're 100% sure that, you know, you've made a mistake and you want to change your answer. And it's very normal to be, you know, running out of time and very time pressured on verbal reasoning. So just guess and flag it and move on. There are, you know, four options on every question. So, it's, you know, if you guess there's a 25% chance you get it right. And if you eliminate answers, there's an even greater chance. So if you're finding a question difficult, just guess, flag and move on. 
you don't have time to waste on, on the harder questions. This is something that if done correctly can be really effective, but if you don't do it well, it may cost you. But something that I found quite useful is if I found a very long, complex passage, and when you get onto practice, you'll know what I mean. Some passages are a lot more challenging than others. So if you get onto these and you feel like it will take too much time, I would just literally just guess all four questions on that passage, flag them and move on to spend more time on the easier questions. And hopefully you have time at the end to go back and kind of do a rough job on those, but spending more time on the shorter, easier passages so you kind of guarantee those marks. Because you don't need to get anywhere near four marks to get a good score on, on, on any section of the UCAT, even more so on verbal reasoning. So my tips on how to prepare. First of all, it's, it's obvious, but practice lots and lots. Practice without time pressure initially and kind of get used to the styles of questions and familiarize yourself with the techniques used to kind of approach these questions and then obviously start under time pressure as, as soon as you possibly can because the hardest bit is the time pressure. The questions aren't particularly difficult if you had you know unlimited time to do them. So I would definitely recommend getting onto time practice as soon as possible. My next tip is obviously something I've mentioned but it's learning to skim read. Medify and med entry have different kind of skill gains, if you will, to kind of help you learn these different skills such as skim reading. Um, and there are other different skills that are important on other sections, but with verbal reasoning, skim reading is very important or, or speed reading. And of course, find what works with you. From hearing lots of different techniques from other people through YouTube videos, and then practicing all these different techniques, you'll kind of come up with your own kind of strategy to answer questions. and you'll see what works for you in the most effective way possible. You know, it may be to skim the text first, it may be to properly read the text first, although you may not have time for that, but if you can read fast enough. It may also be to read the question first and then just simply skim to find the answer straight away. Whatever you find the most useful and whatever most accurate and time effective for you. Whatever works best for you is important to figure out and you'll only do so through practicing and practicing and practicing lots and lots. So I'd like to leave with some just general tips for the verbal reasoning section of the UCAT. So first of all, I've said this before, but don't spend too long on hard questions. Verbal reasoning is very time pressured as I you know, keep mentioning. So if you're unsure and you're taking too long, just guess, flag and move on. So before you start you know, properly preparing for verbal reasoning, it's important to kind of understand the different styles of questions there are. Um, so all questions involve, you know, a passage as I've mentioned and and a question on said passage. But the types of questions will include a true false can't say. So it will give you a statement and you'll say whether it's true or false or you can't tell based on the extract given. And then there are more complex questions on on the extracts, perhaps inferring something from the text or identifying the author's opinion, or the kind of general theme of the text, or matching up a statement and seeing which kind of goes with the ideas of the author the best. Now there are several others within this kind of category of, of questions, but you can kind of explore and see which ones you kind of need more work on. And finally, don't use any prior knowledge. Even if you're an expert on a particular topic that the text may be about, Assume you know nothing and just answer based on the information given in the text. You won't be expected to know anything outside of the information from the text. And something in the text may actually contradict something that you've known previously. I understand verbal reasoning can be quite tricky. You know, it's perhaps the hardest section in, in the whole of the UK exam. But the key is just to practice lots and lots. Now, especially, you know, under time conditions. And also make sure you get used to the fact that you may not be able to answer every single question. It's extremely time pressured and you know no one expects you to get you know 100%, especially you know on verbal reasoning. Like with all sections of the UCAT, it's all about balancing speed but also accuracy of your answers. I hope you found this video helpful and you, you know you learned something new. Good luck in all your preparation for the UCAT. If you have any questions please feel free to comment or contact me on my email or Instagram, which will be in the description below.